last night, or at least last night to when I'm recording this, Brandon Pachemski had his coming out party in the in-season tournament against the Wolves last night. And he did some awesome stuff all throughout the game. He is one of my favorite players in the league, probably. One of my favorite prospects from this last draft was so undervalued. And I think he showed all of those reasons why and why he is the perfect warrior. And Golden State was just the perfect spot for him to land. He is, as we like to say, a little thing king here. Um, Heady Steele here hits a ridiculous bank shot to give the Warriors a nice lead going into the end of the quarter. He was just absolutely on once. And I think he had 27 playing with insane confidence. And he is a real little things guy. Pachemski trailing around the screen. Look at the box out of Rudy here. We're going to talk more about the defense later in the video, which is pretty solid. He is pretty good getting skinny around screens. Nice footwork staying tight and totally knocking Rudy off of his spot, not allowing him to get that rebound at all. Um, stuff that you don't really see from like 6'4 rookie guards super often. He's such a good off-ball player who can work within the Warriors system, but also freelance. We see him opening up here to set a flare for Dario, which obviously doesn't convert, but then he goes and gets the offensive rebound when no one boxes him out and they reset the play. This is good stuff. Again, we see Pachemski working as a cutter and a screener and a passer. Um, he is an awesome zone offense player. Originally, he's using the same like thumbs back to signal he's like setting a flare, but he really isn't. He's cutting straight into the middle and immediately recognizes Nasreed sleeping, slips it back door to Gary Payton Jr. It's perfect like reactionary passing stuff, taking advantage of what the defense is giving him. And that's what Pajemski does. And his scoring creation is awesome to me. He has always had issues or questions about like the size and athleticism and how that would translate. But he is a crafty scorer and a floater machine. He's not able to separate here from Mike Conley, who is just still a fantastic defender at this point in his career. But look at what he does at the end of the drive to get separation. His last two steps are so elongated, that last one especially, planting hard with the left foot and fading backwards to get this shot over Rudy. His touch is sublime, always has been. He is an awesome floater taker and maker, and he's so crafty getting into these shots from all over. He has Cat on a switch, puts him in the spin cycle, gets the friendly roll there, just oozing confidence um, from this 20-year-old rookie. Uh, at least I believe. Really nice coming off of this little, like, DHO pin Chicago type action that the Warriors like to do. And this is really good stuff for Pajemski. He's not the quickest creating separation just off the dribble 1v1, but when he can attack off of a play like this, get moving with off-ball motion, get into the paint, and that's just too much space for Pachemski, who is going to knock down these wide-open floaters at a pretty high clip. He always has, and this is that's his shot. He is dominant in this mid-range, long paint area. We see another great cut as sometimes you don't have to be super fast and quick and explosive to make your backdoor cuts. You just have to time it well as there is a bunch of action going on here. This defender, Nikhil Alexander-Walker, is focused in on Chris Paul's cut so Pachemski can slip backdoor and get a wide open layup. It's, not, it's nothing special. It's just a perfectly timed cut to position himself in a way that defenses can't react and even like on shots that miss I think the process was really good and part of why I think breakouts like this obviously he's not going to score almost 30 points most nights but in a smaller role like this like secondary pick and roll ball handling is really legit great job being patient using the screen to the baseline hop step to snake back to the middle and totally throw off this defender um, probably should just shoot the ball right there but that little floater, as we've seen him make in this game already, and it's a shot that he's going to make going forwards. He has these like weird little craft flip shots that he's going to rely on. And of course, like the long-term question is going to be how good of a scorer can Pachemski be relying on these shots, or how much can he develop out of them and get some more, get some like 
flicking the ball under this guy's arm with the left hand almost goes in. Like, he will try ridiculously tough shots, which I always appreciate. And it's going to be the difference between being, like, a really good role player or potentially, like, a really good starter or even more if he can hit these at a high clip going forward. But the early returns are looking really, really good. There's going to be a learning curve in balancing his scoring and his passing aggression at this point. There there are some plays that I've noticed throughout the beginning of the season where maybe I think it would have been better here to just go up with a floater as Gobert is sitting back, Kyle Anderson isn't really closing in, and they end up getting a good shot because Kevon Looney is another great passer. But still, I think Pachemski... Um, a lot of times these really smart, quick decision makers like Pachemski and that the Warriors tend to employ, um, they can be kind of pass happy and sometimes scoring is the right decision. Being selfish is the highest value play and that's just going to be something that Pachemski learns as he continues to grow. He looked really good going coast to coast as well, comfortable handling the ball after a rebound. I really like this setup and we see some quickness here um, getting a finish over Gobert but I love how he pushes the ball to the right side of the defense to open up space to the left. This right side is cramps. Gobert is going that way. He pushes the defenders this way, crosses back over with some pretty good speed, and is able to push before defense is set and get a wide open layup. It's really impressive stuff. Once again, we see another early offense semi-transition possession where um, he starts this position on the right, and a lot of players, especially young players, would just like barrel straight to the rim, but he's patient, sets himself up, and sees that he can kind of use Cat and Rudy as like a screen for him, as the positioning is weird, beautiful inside hand finish. Look at this. He's a lefty. Right hand, inside hand finish for the and one in, in early offense. He is a wonderfully crafty and deceptive scorer. And he's an awesome shooter as well, um, which is, a, again, a huge part of his game. He looks so confident taking these catch-and-shoot threes. Um, no wasted motion, no hesitation. He's making really good decisions as to when to shoot versus when to pump fake. And, of course, his really high release is really good for these, like, moon ball pull-ups, especially over bigger defenders. He was an excellent pull-up shooter in college and from the high school sample that I've seen. Um, of him really confident pulling over bigger defenders using that high smooth release to get the ball over contests and that probably is going to be less of a component of his game than the off-ball shooting just given the role he's going to play especially on the Steph Curry Dynasty Warriors team but it's nice to have and that could of course be an indicator of future growth and something that he improves on. Defensively Pachemski um, wasn't as involved generally I would say in a good or bad way in this game but there is really good stuff here. He's so aggressive and aware, chasing around screens here, denying with his right hand, getting around this screen as well. Obviously, this is all decoy, and Nazareed ends up scoring here, but Pachemski is chasing Nikhil all over the floor on this play and is able to stop his man from getting any openings, which is kind of what you need. The screen navigation was really impressive. As we saw in like one of the first plays all game, he sticks with Conley as well walls up against Cat, ends up drawing a charge there. Really great awareness, even though his man, Mike Conley, was cutting away to the opposite corner, and Dario here as well made a great rotation to wall up, but Pachemski realizes that Cat is the immediate threat, walls up, takes the charge, and is able to get a turnover and create another possession for his team. We see more screen navigation here as well, as the craft kind of works on defense as well. He's not the biggest guy. He doesn't have the longest wingspan, but great footwork here. Hard plant with the right, left foot to stay attached. He keeps contact with the left arm and uses, like, tries to kick this ball to create a deflection and to stop Cat from getting an open three. And I like to think the basketball gods are rewarding him for his, 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 his smarts here as well. And there, there are going to be moments, as there are in this game, where he just gets kind of overpowered and struggles against higher level strength creators and bigger players and quicker players but as rookie debuts or not, not not debuts as rookie performances go like this was a really great one and it wasn't one that was just predicated on like hot shooting where a lot of times you'll see rookies or just players in general um have big box scores where they're just like making contested shots and it's not generally sustainable but everything Pachemski was doing 
against the Timberwolves is stuff that's in his bag and stuff that he was drafted to do. Really crafty off-ball movement, quick decisions as a passer and a scorer, floater range scoring, shooting, all of it with Steph and Clay and Draymond not playing last night. It was the perfect opportunity for him to show out and show why he was probably underdrafted um, in this past draft. I am so excited to see how he develops throughout the rest of the season and his career. Um, he's 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 just such a warrior. Like it, it's it's it just it's it's just right. 